Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Build Evil Fortress number 10, Walkways and Detail. So we're back at the Evil Fortress, and as we spin around, it looks like to me, the place is almost done. Structurally, everything is pretty much in place. And it's starting to look like it's got the silhouette of a true evil fortress. Now, there are a couple of problems left, and a lot of work to be done still. For example, the sides of the towers look very bland and flat, and flat is something you want to avoid in Minecraft. Also, the walkways you see around the edge here at the bottom, they're not quite done yet. All we've left there are the skeletons in place for when we do come around and give them detail, and that's what we're going to do this episode. We've got the demon as well, his arms need to be beefier, and the bottoms of these bigger towers could do with some small little turrets and things to make them look more interesting. So we're going to start off this episode by coming around the back here. To get started on these walkways. Now I wanted to copy the guard tower that we had around the front of the evil fortress. So I got out world edit and literally just copied it. I came around the back here and pasted it in a few times until I was happy with where it was. Unfortunately, once I had it in position, I realized that the thing was full up with mud and trees. I mean, look at that. It just looks terrible and there's no way we could clean up all that mud. So what I did was undo the copy and then come back with an airbrush with World Edit and just clear out the area of trees and of mud. I extended the walkways slightly with Darkstone Brick and then I began to paste in the guard tower until it was in the exact right position. I then extended the walkways to meet the guard tower and trimmed up a bit the side of the guard tower, then came back and looked at the mess I'd made with World Edit. Now I used the replacer tool here to replace this stone and turn it back into mud. And then once I was done with half of it, I realized I should probably turn the rest of it into creep to kind of enhance that creep effect. So I replaced some of the stone with netherrack that's creeping its way out of the lava towards the little guard tower we have here. Then I started to build the pillars that would hold up the walkways. I used dark stone brick again. And then began to build those support struts slowly towards the other tower just off camera to the right. And then once those were in place, I just basically copied the same walkways that we had around the front of the castle and rebuilt them over here, as you can see. Unfortunately, those fences are a little bit too close to the fire, and they constantly set themselves on fire. But that's the finished look. Both of those walkways complete, and looking exactly like the ones around the front. Then it was time to come around to the other side, the back right of the evil citadel. If the demon is the front, then this is the back right. Build the support struts for this walkway, and use the lightstone brick steps upside down and, uh, and the lightstone brick to create this arch effect underneath these walkways. And then use fences and lightstone brick to finish off the effect. Now you see me there copying in with World Edit from the other walkways because it was much easier once I had the dimensions right to copy and paste in the walkways that I'd already done because the design we were going to be using was going to be exactly the same. And then finished off this one manually with the lightstone brick. And then because this walkway just connects with land rather than a tower, I used the darkstone brick to create a kind of tunnel that would tunnel towards the other towers. And now here we are in first person so you can get a feeling of the scale 
of the Citadel and we're going to walk around the whole of the outside walkways just to show you how big a project we really started when we created this, this evil castle. Now the walls we're walking on, I'm not quite sure if they're done. I mean they're just walls at the moment. But the guard tower sections don't have roofs and I'm not sure if that's something I want to give them, if I want to give them a bit more of a building feel. I realised I hadn't got iron bars in these windows. So I whipped those out and filled them in. And then we continue our tour around the edge of the evil fortress, climbing up some stairs and entering one of the outer guard towers. Of course, mahogany floors are standard inside here. A peek out at the interior. Oh, oh, and it's me. Hello. If that's me, who am I? I don't know. Let's continue. But yeah, the time it's taken us to go around the whole of the castle like this gives you perhaps a feel of the scale of the project that we've started. And I didn't realise it when we had started. I mean, when there was nothing built, it seemed like a relatively small castle that we were building. But now that I've walked around it and, uh, and flown around it, I get a real feel of scale. And a real sense of just how colossal this behemoth is. And that's why it's ended up taking so long just to get this one evil fortress done. 10 episodes and we're still not quite finished. When you're flying around the outside, it's very easy to kind of think it's smaller than it actually is. But yeah, this whole fortress is actually quite a beast. Now, I told you we were going to start detail and that's what I'm doing right here. And the key to adding detail on large buildings like this is to make sure the walls are not flat. And the best way to do that is to make them kind of two or three blocks thick and then dig into those two or three blocks to give patterns and detail to otherwise bland walls. And you can see me here kind of digging in skull shapes into the sides of this, the tallest tower, adding a few crenellations here and there and messing around with the designs. Now I screwed around a lot with how I wanted these walls to be. But I definitely like the rings and the skull shapes in the side. And as night falls, I kind of throw up some torches so you guys can see exactly what we're doing in the night. And those skull shapes aren't quite done, but I finish up with the rings, toy around with upside down light stone brick, but decide that I don't like the effect and get rid of those. And then it's time to come around to the front of this, the tallest tower. Add a wooden floor inside there. And just create the entrance to the top tier of this tower using light stone brick. And there we go. Now I know I told you guys it was gonna be one more episode before we were done, but I didn't realize just how much work was left to be done on the walkways around the edge. What we've done so far is finish up those walkways once and for all. They're completely done, so we don't need to worry about those anymore at all. We've considered the detail and started with that, as you can see on the main keep, the top tier of it. And it looks pretty nice. You can see the difference it makes. I've added wooden fence posts inside those skulls as kind of helmets on top of those skeletal soldiers' visages. But you can see the difference it makes. And once we come around to the other towers and start adding detail there, the place will really start looking like a much more complete and aesthetically pleasing and more menacing fortress. So with one more episode to go, I hope I've been Stjin. Click like and favourite if you enjoyed the episode and want to support the series. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.